Hola, buenas tardes. Espero que se encuentren muy bien. Welcome to a brand new week. Uh, guess what? There's a game seven between Dodgers and Braves. Dodgers won and um, hopefully it goes well today. Uh, it's gonna start in a few hours, so that's gonna be cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully you guys are having a, a nice week. Um, hopefully you're feeling cool and uh, getting exercise and getting your water. It's important to drink water. Um, so last week we looked at textual analysis and we looked at it with the sneeches and uh, this week's gonna be so 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 fun because you know when I was presenting the entertainment as political paper I kept talking about um, picture books and picture books uh, are so cool because there's a lot going on in them and this week's gonna be an opportunity to really uh, try our hands at that at a picture book so without further ado let's Let's get into this week, um, the picture book analysis. It's such a, such a cool thing. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do, select a picture book to work with. Um, that can be a Dr. Seuss one, that could be a Shel Silverstein one. Um, you know, the, um, what's that Shel Silverstein one where it's like about a tree? Let me, let me see, let me see. Shel Silverstein, what's that tree? What's that tree book? Yeah, the Giving Tree. Oh, that's a that's a great one. Um, like I said, a lot of Dr. Seuss. Um, just any cool like um, picture book that you might have. Um, maybe if you have uh, younger siblings or younger nephews or uh, anything like that. Um, you know which one I always liked as a kid. I, I always liked um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Cloudy with a I always like the illustrations and um, there's like a, a scene that um, I don't forget and it's about like oh they, I guess they made it a movie huh <laughs> uh, this one yay <laughs> I was like it, it would rain pancakes and and uh, meatballs and like there was one time look at this scene <laughs> there's raining hamburgers and all this stuff I, it got like too too much for the townspeople too Another one I remember was um, Alexander, it was like Alexander, Alexander and the no good, very bad day. He was like a, he was a complainer, but <laughs> for some reason I always liked this book too. <laughs> it was like, oh, cause it made me think like, man, so that's how it looks like to be like all like complaining and negative and being ungrateful. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's the first task. Uh, get yourself a picture book to work with for the assignment for this week's module. Um, now check this out. I get it. We're, we're in pandemic and um, libraries are closed. But um, from what I know, um, a lot of libraries are actually offering uh, curbside pickup. So you can actually check out a book and they, um, they have it out there for you. So you can do that. Um, you can also find a picture book, like a, a free PDF online of a picture book. Um, another cool one is you can find maybe uh, an audiobook. Although, uh, that, hmm, audiobook wouldn't work so good because you need to actually look at the pictures too. Um, but, but yeah, um, okay, how about this? You can find somebody reading the picture book. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Like for example, I, I had found this um, story time at Ani's house. This is a YouTube channel, and uh, she reads picture books. So let's let's check that out. Story time at Ani's house. Da, 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 da. So this is a channel where um, she reads picture books. Woo! Awesome! <laughs> look at all these! Look at all these! Aw! <laughs> look at all these! So. Oh, I remember this book. He was, this mouse was a dentist and he would, he would go into the, their mouth. And I was always like, wow, man, the fox doesn't eat the mouse because like it's his dentist. <laughs> so yeah, the, oh, the rainbow fish, Eric Carl. Dang, man. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so yeah, get a physical picture book. Um, either from your younger sibling or younger nephew or get one from the library from curbside pickup uh, or find a PDF of one uh, or find someone on YouTube reading it okay so that's step one uh, step two obviously read the book <laughs> and 
Uh, for, first, I would I would actually recommend just reading it all the way through, and then afterward, um, uh, like take notes too. Whenever we're talking about denotation, how um, usually when we're taking notes, it, it's denotation because it's it's um, surface level meaning. Like we haven't really considered any any um, indirect suggestions or any deeper level meaning or implications or anything. Um, we're just taking notes, really. So. As you're going through the book, um, pay attention to you know what's happening in the story, how the colors are are changing as plot points are transpiring. Um, maybe does the protagonist feel a certain way and like the colors change or or, or, or the illustration style? Because here's what's cool about picture books is that it's a marriage of of story and illustration, like. Oh, it's so so cool! And um, the illustrator and writer work together to um, create this larger project, and 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 um, that's what we're going to explore, and that's what we're going to unearth throughout this week. Um, so so yeah, as you're going through your picture book, take notes, and uh, that's going to help you with this. And 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 actually, um, I recommend that uh, you have the. So here's this. Remember that this chart that we looked at for denotation and connotation. Um, we talked about that last week. So, um, yeah, I, I, as you're taking notes, um, I would actually recommend that the way you take notes is like uh, get a sheet of paper. I, I would recommend a, a blank white printer paper <laughs> and fold it in half, and one side's denotation, the other side's connotation. So, as you're taking notes, usually it's uh, denotation, which is surface level meaning, like plot points, golden quotes, you know, things that are standing out to you. Um, and then for, for each of those, you're going to flesh out the connotation, um, which are which things like indirect suggestions, uh, meaning of symbols, um, you know, meaning of what the colors mean as you're looking at illustrations. Um, overall takeaway message, because 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 listen, picture books are important because as a as a child, um, we're in, a child's in their formative years and they're developing, you know. Um, physically as well as cognitively right so because it's such an important stage of development um then in picture books there are lessons to take away there's a there's a there's a there's a larger uh takeaway so um we're gonna unearth that we're gonna be minors and and and, and see what we can unearth uh it's opportunity to revisit picture books because i know when we were kids a lot of times like we would read it but a lot of stuff would go over our head now is the opportunity to revisit it and, and see what we can come up with. Um, so yeah, take some notes. And actually, I have this for you, picture book details to consider. And it's more specific to picture books. OK, so here's the denotative side and connotative. So look, um, some examples of denotative details are plot points, like what's actually happening in the story? Uh, what's the conflict? What's the resolution? Because remember, how the book, how the conflict is resolved, how the story ends is a super important place in the, um, in the, in the, in the, in the story's arc, because, you know, that's it. Like it, the story ends and that as a reader, that's what you're left with. That's the ultimate takeaway. Um, and that is the place where, um, the takeaway message is, is most highlighted and, 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 or like, um, like the reason why the the writer and illustrator work together to make this larger project. Um, so I mean, denotative is just plot point. Connotative. Um, so remember, I said that picture books are a marriage of both story, so both writing and and illustration. So um, you can pay attention to things like the figurative language. So pay attention to use of exaggeration. Pay attention to things like um, simile and metaphors. Remember, um, similes use like or as. So if I was going to say, um, um, uh, if I can say, the, w the wave, the wave was as tall as the Empire State Building. The crashing, the crashing ocean wave was as tall as the Empire State Building. Um, if a metaphor, you don't use like or as. You just you just compare two unrelated things, but in order to drive your point home. So like, if if I want to say that something, um, like let's let's go back to that to that ocean example. So instead of saying um, the ocean wave um, was like the Empire State Building, I would say um, the wave was the Empire State Building crashing down on the surfer. 
whoa! So all of a sudden, that's a metaphor. See how we didn't use like or as? But the effect was um, just as strong. And actually, I would even say stronger. Um, because you want to drive a point home as a rider, and you're comparing two unrelated things like um, the wave and the Empire State Building. But there's a point of commonality between those, right? In this instance that we're talking about. And that is the size, right? We want to we want to really um, emphasize the large size of the wave. So um, we do that with uh, likening it to the large size of the Empire State Building. Okay, rhyme scheme. Rhyme scheme is huge. Uh, particularly in Dr. Seuss book. So pay attention to how rhyme is used um, to kind of bring a, a point home or like, um, like how, like what are they trying to do with the rhyme scheme? Um, you know, which book I liked from Dr. Seuss? Oh, the places you'll go. Oh, that was a beautiful one. Um, so uplifting <laughs> meanings of symbols. So like I said, if you see uh, ongoing colors every time, say like the character gets angry or something, uh, like everything goes red or something like a maybe the protagonist is a is a small girl and if she's like throws tantrums or like uh, there's like red all around her like uh, looks like red buildings red cars that's like um, or like someone's sad like if it starts to rain um, that what, there, there was a name for that when the when the environment matches the the character what was that called what was that called Oh, it escapes me. <laughs> it escapes me. I, it really escaped me. <laughs> but there's a word for that. Um, okay, themes. That's that's connotative details, and and you see that with like what's happening in the in the plot points and in the illustrations to like um, to like okay, well, what are these themes? Like oh, um, like for example, to maybe the protagonist is because um, remember how we were talking about that. Characters aren't just characters, but characters really rep their embodiments of values and ideas. So maybe the protagonist in your picture book is someone who is kind, courteous, patient, um, excuse me, intelligent. And then the antagonist is someone who is um, super angry, aggressive, impulsive, impatient. So see, those are the values that that character is um, embodying, is 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 um, symbol is reflecting there. So, with with that being said, like you kind of have to work backwards. Like, okay, the protagonist um, through the protagonist, the writer is really glorifying these values, and through the antagonist, they're vilifying, <laughs> literally like the villain, <laughs> uh, vilifying those values like ang anger, impatience. Um, uh, impulsiveness so on and so forth like whatever it is that you may see so maybe the theme is like um the importance of being kind to one another how did you draw that out well we drew that out from paying attention to what's happening in the plot points to what the characters are saying to how the protagonist is behaving um to how the antagonist is behaving to kind of like be like okay no like, don't be like that <laughs> um things like that setting so um check this out uh Picture books are more profound than you think. I remember it was about two semesters ago. I think I mentioned this, but um, there was this, we were doing a poster board activity um, for this, and um, one group was working on a picture book that was looking at the setting uh, of the Japanese internment, um, Japanese internment camps, but particularly Mansonar, um, just here in, in California. Um, so it's like, you know. How, how is a historical moment being represented or portrayed by the book, right? That's a big one, too. Um, the characters, who are the characters? What are their names? Like, a lot, I know Dr. Seuss does it a lot, but uh, in his choice of names, they, they're like huge hints for what ideals and values the characters represent. Remember we were talking about how characters represent ideals and values. They're not just characters. <laughs> um Ooh, okay, so, and then that connects to, you know, oh, actually, this themes and overall message connects to that, but, um, so yeah, pay attention to the characters. Um, this is a huge one, connections to real life, so things you see happening in the book, or things that you see certain characters embodying, like ideas and values, right? What connections to the real, to real life can you, can you think of? 
either in society or in economy or in historical events like um or in something uh, pertaining to um human relationships or like like what, what does it remind you in in of um it, from real life implications oh, okay this is massive this is so 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 massive because this is not just a report where i'm saying okay tell me what is this message okay and you just leave it there no 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 implications of so what why is this message important you know why is it significant um is there any group glorified or vilified or idea how do you know and 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 remember what i was saying picture books are important because they're reaching out to the kids who are in their formative years and and they're developing and and, and um it's an important it's an important platform yeah so um absolutely it's like you know why all this that you've unearthed why, why does it matter why did the there's a reason why the writer and the illustrators put forth um all this time and energy and money right because it's an investment to make a picture book like what did they want um readers to to glean from their work right um yeah <laughs> so that's that's this one uh so you use this chart um yeah, symbols. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so get yourself a picture book. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of Dr. Seuss and um, Eric Carl. <laughs> Whatever it is that you find, just find a cool one. Um, okay, so yeah, so use use these charts um, and take notes as you read it. Um, and, and like I said, I would create, uh, use a Print your paper and, and, and fold it ham hamburger style. One side is denotative, the other side is connotative. Um, write out your notes like that so that you can be ready for your actual um, textual analysis, my fellow semi-auticians. <laughs> so here's what you're going to do. Um, you're just going to go to reply. And um, you can either type out your response and just say something like, um, uh, the book that I chose for this week's module was The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. And yes, you can use I. It doesn't have to be this, like, <laughs> you don't have to, I don't know, don't think, like, I have to be this huge academic. Like, you already are academics. Um, so you, you could just be like that. You could just say, like, um, the book that I chose for this week was The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Um, as I was reading this book, I was particularly drawn to the following denotative details. Number one... Um, this caterpillar has a voracious appetite and doesn't stop eating and or like stop, start talking about things that you notice and then um, you know what how, how these details connect to say like a larger message or um, impl and then draw out implications of that larger message or things like that so you can you can type out your response um, which is pretty cool but here's one that I would personally do um, and that is record a video. Um, so go to, it's actually here. I think it's this one. Insert me. No, it's not it. YouTube. No, this one. Here it is. I was like, they look so similar. Look at this. They all have the, the play triangles. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Record, upload media. Okay. So here's what I would personally do because I, I think it's the most fun. Grab your book. <laughs> First thing I, I would do is read it to us. <laughs> Let's have a story time. So you'd be like, hey, class, how's it going? Uh, this is David here. Uh, I'm bringing to you The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. And today we're going to read it. We're going we're gonna to dive into this awesome story. So then you read it, show us the pictures. After you do that, um, you know, you have your notes right next to you with your chart, which is denotation and connotation. And talk to us about what you saw um, uh, both uh, from uh, denotative denota de details and, and their connotative implications, the, those connotative details, and and draw out especially like what's the ultimate takeaway and th really think about, okay, what's the reason that, that the writer and the illustrator work together to create this, this book? So, like, just talk to us about what you found and what you thought was cool about it and, and um, um, how those details... Um, those uh, denotative details um, work um, together with the connotative details uh, to draw out this larger message, or, or, or like, what is it? Like, what, what's, what did you get from the book? Um, 
So that's the task for this week. It, I'm so psyched for it. It's, it's always a lot of fun um, to look at what you guys come up with. And, and it's, it's fun for you as students, too, because you get to look at what uh, each of you does, too. Um, so, yeah, I would honestly record it. <laughs> Um, if you don't want to do video, if you don't feel comfortable with video, you could go to no video. You could just do audio. Or, like I said, you could just type it out. Um, make sure it's substantial, you know. Um, and this is a discussion board. You're also going, oh, here, if you want to attach, say, like, you do come up with a denotative to quantitative chart, which are the notes that are helping you for this, you can attach it. Um, but, like, you know, you're not just attaching the chart. You're, you also have to write um, this response here, So, which is your textual analysis. Um, so essentially, <laughs> what you're doing here is like, um, what is what you're doing for your entertainment as political paper, just in micro level. Um, and let's say that you end up loving what you do with this picture book um, so much that you you want to continue and, and carry it forward, then absolutely, you know what, you can you can completely revamp um, what was your original idea for the brainstorm. Because uh, I'll be real with you. Outlines and, and brainstorms, like they're they're tentative as as writers. The the writing process, sorry, writing is a process. So it's like if you want to change to this book, that's cool too. Um, uh, or if you, yeah, like if you want to do the Sneetches, <laughs> cool. Get just get yourself a a, a copy of the Sneetches book. Um, yeah. So that's that's this, and mainly just have a lot of fun with it. Remember to also reply to at least one classmate to post. And uh, oh, I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. And uh, if, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, other than that, have an awesome, awesome week. See you guys.